I got a quick word for you today. This was the first part of the month. I heard the Spirit of the Lord just say Mayday, just singularly. And when he did, I was like, okay, what's that mean? And so I looked it up and I had not seen this before. Mayday is a day commemorating the historic struggles and gains made by workers and the labor movement observed in many countries on May 1st. In the U.S. and Canada, a similar observant known as Labor Day occurs on the first day of September. Now check this. It says, in the U.S., the holiday was first celebrated in 1886 as part of the struggle for the eight-hour workday on May 1st of that year. That is when they had gone on a strike and demanding better conditions and shorter hours. There are those of you, you have literally been on strike. You've been on a fight and it feels like in the fight of your life, you have been in labor, you have been working, you've been toiling and not just trying to hustle, not just trying to grind, but there are those of you, you have been laboring in prayer. You have been toiling and you've been fasting, you've been consecrating, you've been warring in the spirit for so long. And that has literally taken a toll. Some of you have felt like completely exhausted or this fatigue from war so long. And the Lord wanted me to tell you that victory is absolutely your portion just like what they had petitioned was been granted that which you have been believing god for and warring over through your tears through your consecration that petition has been granted you the scripture says this in first samuel chapter number one it speaks about how hannah she went into the temple and eli was like yo what's wrong with you you know you drunk and because she was so grievous in her weeping for the lord she said no my lord she said i've been pouring my heart out to the lord concerning this thing and he said you know what <laughs> go thy way your petition has been granted and i want to encourage those of you you feel like you've gone up with so many enemies you didn't ask for it you weren't looking for it and they was coming for you all at the same time and just like hannah that has been you you've been going before the lord in prayers and in consecration and god is saying your petition has been granted you in the name of jesus for your work for your labor for your toil the scriptures also says this in hebrews chapter number six verse number ten that god is not unrighteous to forget your work and your labor of love that work and that labor of love that you have shown towards the saints in which you have ministered. And I'm telling you, so since he is not unrighteous to forget it, you are getting ready to be rewarded. You are about to be rewarded for your heart through the work, through the labor, and even through the service. And let me read this for you. May Day is also known as a European festival of ancient origins marking the beginning of summer, usually celebrated May 1st. I want to encourage you that this is going to be your time of celebration. This is a time where that work, that labor, that toil is about to be rewarded in Jesus' mighty name. This is the time that God is allowing for you to be bringing in that summer, that summer festival, that summer harvest, that summer solstice. Now that time for you to celebrate because your May Day is here. God bless you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.